Saturday and it's night. Having me a good night shave. Uh, I was not going to shave today, but I got in the mail a couple of things from my good buddy Alex, Alex DeLeon. On here, he's been a subscriber for a while. Uh, he usually comments on every one of my shaves, and uh, I, I really, really appreciate him. Uh, we've had some pretty good talks, and uh, he's been liking this uh, One Pass Shave, and uh, he got a razor that was too aggressive for him. So he figured it would do great with the One Pass Shave. And so he sent me a fat tip grande. I've got a Voshkod loaded up in it and I've heard these things are pretty aggressive he says it was pretty aggressive love the handle on this it's hollow but it's got this different knurling down here that kind of catches your finger the weight it's it's head heavy so your your weight's about right there in the middle um, that's about the weight right there um, things all right there we go but this thing is beautiful I've heard great things about this I guess this is the chrome um, I'm guessing to my eyes it's just chrome I know there's a nickel plated and everything else and I've I've almost bought one of these things a hundred times since I've started shaving and I always thought ah better better not it's, it's aggressive thank you very much Alex for sending this to me I will uh, I will uh, try my best to get to where I can shave with this. Also, he sent me a soap company that's made in Nebraska, Wilbur, Nebraska, uh, called Ballonclaw. And uh, this is sour mash. And to give you a hint of what it smells like, if you've ever drank or been around um, what we call uh, white lightning, uh, moonshine corn whiskey that's that's exactly what it smells like uh, the uh, it says it's supposed to smell more like a bourbon which it kind of does it doesn't have the sweetness of a bourbon it's more of a, 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 a sour mash whiskey uh, I don't know I kind of kind of like it let's see how it shaves I got it blooming right now I'll be using the Zeus uh, made by Jasper the uh, Cerneco off of Instagram and then I want to throw on some snake bite if my face isn't burning. If it's burning off, I'm going to put on some speck. Let's hope we can use this. Uh, I'm not going to do nothing scented tonight really bad since I'm fixing to go to bed. But let's, let's try it out. Let me put on this bloom water and we'll go at it. Yeah, the scent is a kind of a... It's a darker side sin. It's nothing light about it right now. And uh, I looked up the ingredients, and I'll try to remember most of them. It has um, tallow. It's tallow-based. Castor oil. Uh, it's got a couple of seeds in it. Seed oils, as I call them. Canola and cocoa butter. Uh, did I say it right? Yeah. And then... Um, uh, has lanolin and it's already I got plenty already this took no time it's a uh, it's a different smell very different it's uh, got a good feel of, feel to it. it says it has silk in it castor oil did I not mention that I've come to like castor oil and soaps notice more and more soap makers are using it And lanolin, I love. He also mainly uses essential oils. I don't know if every one of his soaps has it. Other than the bloom water, I'm using a cold. I put uh, hot water in the bloom water and it's done cooled down by now, but Usually my night shaves are uh, cold water. At least during the summer. Has a great feel to it. It doesn't uh, 
got that clay feel that some tallow soaps have. I can tell you it didn't take long to uh, whip up a lather. Oh goodness. Real light lather. More of a It's not a thick lather. I'm not gonna add any more water. But I'll zoom in and let you see it kind of peaks up. It's got a different feel, a different sheen to it. Interesting. Interesting. Get out of my note. I tried my hardest to use that one finger move that a lot of people use. I can't do it. Tastes like soap. <laughs> you know some people just, mm, that goes right off. I guess my lips are too big, I don't know. All right, let's try this bad boy out. I noticed the first off, this has up and down lines, kind of like my Edwin Jagger. So my hand, I'm gonna keep really uh, dry to hang on to it. But this grip down here really does good. Let's try it out. You don't see that blade gap again? Let's try it. Ooh, yeah, I can feel it. I'm gonna use a different angle. <laughs> Nice, really nice. He's a little bit higher angle than most of my other razors. If you notice, I kind of notice when I put the blade in, the blade's really, really curved on this. So I need an angle that'll count for that. Slow and steady. <laughs> Especially this razor. Actually feels good. He is aggressive. The lather is different. It's uh, it's not as thick. It's a lot lighter. Good cushion though. I don't know if it's me or this razor is putting out a lot of water. Wouldn't recommend using this soap before work. Going to 
works and unlike whiskey. Unless you're covering up whiskey. And you always say it was it was soap. I tell you anybody out there who likes aggressive razors would love this. My goodness. These things uh things are pretty aggressive. phone call and uh, hopefully you know, got that last little bit uh, it's smooth it's very smooth I got two little spots right here that's not razor burn it's more just uh, some of my itching it's uh, more bumps and I don't know if that's the uh, soap or it's just uh, me messing with my face today we'll see but uh Really, no razor burns. Right, right there, just a little bit from that razor. Um, that thing works. That's a amazing razor. You're right, Alex. It's a uh, it's great for the one pass shave. Uh, I'd like to curious how that would work on a on a two pass. I doubt I could use that on a three pass. Um, just me personally, I doubt I could. Anybody out there who's uh, who's got a face that can take a really aggressive razor who might use the, let's say the R41 every day, you know? Uh, I can use the R41, but not on a three pass shave. I really don't don't enjoy it. I put on some snake bite and uh, all this is is alcohol, menthol, and water. I can tell you, it feels like I've done a two-pass shave. Just with that, that's a that might be my one-pass shave razor. I think I'm gonna try a different blade in it. That Voshkod was a little bit scratchy, um, so I had to be real, real careful. I might. I thought about using the Gillette Silver Blue, but I've had this one out. I think this was the fifth shave with it, so that's maybe the reason why it's a little scratchy. Um, you know, I, I said I was going to use my above the tie R plate, but I'm going to use that after I quit uh, playing with this razor because uh, you know, just just really really appreciate uh, all my subscribers and all my listeners, especially when y'all comment and y'all talk to me and uh, just give me all kinds of help and advice. Uh, Balan cloth, Balan Balan cloth. Have no clue how you say it sour mash and it does smell like sour mash whiskey uh really not on the bourbon side it's more of like a uh a uh, corn whiskey as uh, i grew up calling it and drinking it the stuff that if you don't mix it right will make you go blind anyway snake bite feels great uh like i said i believe that's just uh a pre-shave irritation rather than during a shave We'll see tomorrow. I'll have to use this uh, soap again sometime. Uh, but everything went well. You're right, Alex. It's a, a great razor for the One Pass Shave, and I truly do appreciate it. Thanks, uh, everyone, for watching and subscribing. And uh, I'll be seeing y'all soon. Y'all have a good night.